I mean, when you, you have injuries like you guys have had, you know, now to your outside linebackers, obviously you're always looking for opportunities. You know, made the most of them. Are you proud of the fact that, you know, for the amount of reps that you've had or snaps, you know, you've got a quarterback on the ground? Yeah, uh, you know, when you get in the game, Will always tells me, uh, you know, don't count the reps, make the reps count. Um, but yeah, it's unfortunate, you know, injuries are part of the game. It really sucks to see, uh, you know, your friends, uh, guys that you work with every day to, to go down like that. But, uh, you know, we're a team, we just got to step up and uh, make plays and, and keep this train rolling because we got a bigger goal. How much are those guys, Jack and JPP? I know there's been a lot of time in the training room, but how much are those guys able to kind of help you as you formulate, you know, your game plans, your rush plans, things like that during the week? Yeah, they've been a huge help. Uh, you know, with them being with them being out, uh, they're in the training room, and then and then uh, you know they have to work less on their uh, their individual plans, and they're able to actually dive that time more into you know helping me, Joe, and Cam uh, prepare and 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 see it from their eyes and see it from a veteran's perspective. So they've been a huge help uh, through this whole process, understanding the playbook more, and, and just understand how to rush and, and uh, how to make plays. You guys have, go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say, what's been the secret of the? The sack attack this year, I mean, you guys are, I think, second in the league right now. Um, is something that's really working, you feel, for this team? Yeah, I mean, it starts with uh, Coach Bowles always puts us in great positions. Um, you know, he's always got something dialed up. And then uh, we've just been able to make plays. It's just been mentality we have um, that we just uh, installed as defense. We're attacking always, and we're, we're trying to make plays. And that's just been a, the sack's been a result of that. You guys uh, are among the NFL leaders in strip sacks. What's the key to a good strip sack? What makes it work? Uh, the key is, uh, you know, like I said, it's just that mentality, that ball hawk mentality, whether it's, you know, picking the ball off or uh, strip strip sacks or strips uh, out of the ball carry down the field. We're just, we got that mentality of attack on defense. Um, so we're always attacking, trying to get that ball back as fast as we can. And, and uh, you know, that's, you know, that's the fast way to get it is just strip that ball out and uh, give it back to the offense. Is there any kind of specific arm movements you're doing when you're? It, it's just eyes. You got to keep your eyes on the ball. Um, look at what you're hitting, and, and uh, when you're coming around, if you if you can locate that ball, then uh, get after it. Double digit sacks is, is a rarity, and it's only been done you know back to back seasons by four different players in this franchise's history. The guy like Shaq Barrett, when he goes down, you know he's carried a, a large portion of this, this defense up until this point. What does it kind of mean, the fact that, all right, now you get to do your part to kind of help carry him and, and help carry this team? Yeah, I mean, he's obviously been a great player. Double digit sacks again this year. Uh, Pro Bowl, you know, what much deserved. But, uh, yeah, he's been – it's been great. And, and he's been uh, really uh, positive in helping me get ready. And, and uh, it's big shoes to fill, but I'm excited for the opportunity. Watching Zach Wilson, what are you seeing on tape? I mean, he's a very talented player. You know, he goes number two overall for a reason. He makes plays that uh, shouldn't be made, and, and he's able to, you know, just make things happen. And uh, they got a talented offense, and, you know, he's dangerous. So uh, we're going to have to be able to be on our best, contain him, and uh, try and limit the big plays that he can create. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Thanks, guys.